Hey everybody, how are you guys? This is iOS Pro Hacker again to teach you fixing your iOS devices. So nowadays, a lot of people are facing this issue on their iPhones, iPads and iPods that it got stuck on this computer screen, stuck at this recovery mode and when this happens, the iPhone or iPad not turns on. So this screen not let us turn on our iOS device. It usually happens when your software update or restore your iPhone or when your storage of iPhone get full. So my friends, do not you worry about it. I am gonna show you the method to totally fix your iOS device without losing any of your important data. You can fix it without any data loss, no matter you have older iPhones or newer. This method works on all type of iOS devices. So I don't like to talk too much. Let's get jump into the tutorial. Hey people, let's start the tutorial and let me tell you that there is no possible way to fix your iOS device without having a computer. So to fix your iOS device, you need a computer. The method for fixing iOS device works with Windows and Mac as well. So basically, there are a lot of different methods to fix any type of problem in iOS devices but if our phone stuck at recovery mode, so the most recommended and quick method to fix your iOS device quickly is reiboot method. Reiboot is a free tool in a PC which will help us to fix the iPhone or iPad if it is stuck at recovery mode. It will let our iPhone exit from the recovery mode screen instantly in just a minute. And the second method is iTunes method. So I will show you all the methods in this video and teach you how you can fix your iPhone. So friends, first go ahead to the browser, visit this link you can see on the screen and download reiboot tool in your PC. This tool is available in Windows and Mac both. So once you install it, open it up and connect your iOS device to the computer via USB cable. I recommend you to use original Apple Lightning cable, otherwise you may get error but don't worry, you can give it a try. Once you connect your iPhone, so on the re iBoot tool, you will see the exit recovery mode button right here on the computer screen. Now this is very simple step to do to fix our phone, just simply tap on the exit recovery mode button, just click here to get your iOS device out of recovery mode. Once you tap it, your iPhone will restart and as you can see guys on my iPhone, uh, my iPhone has fixed back to the normal mode and it is asking me for the passcode to unlock, let's put it in the passcode and you can see my iPhone got fixed without losing any data. You can see all the data is there. This was the first method and trick to fix your iOS device. Now if you are still having the problem, I mean if your iPhone is still stuck at recovery mode even after trying this re iBoot method, so it means that you need to software update your iOS device because your previous iPhone software firmware has corrupted. So in this case, you need to update your iOS device to the latest iOS software. Do not worry about it, it is too easy and totally free. I will teach you how to fix it and obviously without losing the data. Now just close the re iBoot and download and install the iTunes in your computer. You can download the iTunes from the link you can see and the link is also all the links are available in the description of this video. So the iTunes is available in Windows and Mac both. Uh, once you install iTunes in your computer, open it up. After connecting your iOS device to the computer, now you will see this pop-up which is asking us to update or restore our iOS device. Let's just close it. Now here, you can see these two buttons. First one is update and second one is restore. 
what is update and what is restore. Uh, so if we press update button, so our iOS device will update to the latest version of iOS without losing any kind of data. All of your photos, videos, contacts, messages, notes, everything will remain on your iPhone and your uh, iPhone will update to the latest version of iOS and it will also fix all kind of problems on iPhone like stuck at bull loop, stuck at recovery mode, stuck at wide Apple logo and all other kind of problems on iOS devices. So we are going to use this update button to fix the iOS device but before that let me tell you that if we press the restore iPhone button so this will going to factory reset and completely erase our iOS device which will also fix all kind of iOS problems including the stuck at recovery mode, boot loop and all other one problems. Yeah, obviously, it will going to erase all the data in our device. That is why we are not going to use the restore iPhone button. Now go ahead, just tap on this update button right here. Tap on the update button again. Tap on the next and agree. So guys, now it is going to download the latest iOS software update firmware file. So it may take time to download because it is a huge file of 4 GB so obviously you need a good a very good internet connection for faster downloads and don't worry you can safely you can also safely disconnect your iPhone during this downloading process uh, the downloading of software will not stop but do not disconnect your internet from the computer So once the download will complete, tap on this update button again. Now you don't need to do anything, just wait. The iTunes will start repairing your iOS device. Uh, so during this process, your iOS device will reboot several times. Do not disconnect your iPhone or it will again stack at bull loop or recovery mode. So then you will need to do this process all over again. And guys, if you're having any iTunes errors, um, if you are having the iTunes error during this process or iTunes stopped during this process, so please update the iTunes to the latest version. And if you already have the latest version of iTunes, so please use the original Apple Lightning USB cable. Do not use the bad quality cheap iPhone cables. Uh, you can also try to change the USB port of your laptop or computer and then try again updating the iPhone. A lot of people were also commenting on my videos that they are unable to fix their iOS device because the storage of the iPhone was full. So if your iPhone storage was full and it's stuck at recovery mode or boot loop or whatever, so I suggest you to first try updating your iPhone using the iTunes like I am doing right now, we're doing right now. And second thing is that if still you are unable to fix your iOS device, so guys, unfortunately, unfortunately, you need to restore your iPhone using the iTunes. So I said, unfortunately guys, you need to restore and restoring the iPhone will erase all of your data, all the data of your iPhone. There is no other option for you guys. Sorry for that. Really sorry for that. As you can see, my iPhone is back, updated to the latest version of iOS, and it has totally fixed. This is how, guys, you can fix your iOS devices using this simple method without losing the data. Amazing. So guys, if you are still having the problems and you are unable to fix your iOS device using the iTunes method, so no problem, no problem, because 10% of the people always get error while fixing the iPhone using the iTunes. So in that case, please, please, please use the original Apple Lightning cable and then try again, change the USB port, connect the USB cable to any other USB port of the laptop. And if you are still having the problem, please, please try to do it on any other laptop. In the last 
the one and only solution for fixing the iOS device without losing the data and without iTunes is using the re-iPod. Just open the re-iPod tool and now connect your iPhone to the computer and tap on the repair operating system option here. Now tap on the fix now button and now like iTunes it will also download the iOS software update file first and when the download will complete it will start repairing your iOS device. Let me tell you that the re-iBoot is not free when you try to repair your iPhone but it is totally free when we exit the iPhone from the recovery mode. Uh, so anyways uh, guys re-iBoot also offers the customer support service uh, which will help you out fixing your iOS device personally. You can check the description of this video for re-iBoot customer support uh, instructions. So guys, these are some different methods to fix your iOS devices and if you are still having any problems, so please check out my other videos on this same topic and do not forget to check out the description of this video for another working method on fixing the iPhone when it's stuck at recovery mode. So see you later in the next video, I'll be back with another amazing video for you. For now, goodbye. Hey guys, in the last, do not forget to support me at Patreon.